Raw. We're in the presence of <laughs> Hollywood royalty. I'm so greatness. Thank you for putting up with us. Uh, we are a bit in awe of you, but now oh, that we stop it. Now that we know you, you're just you know you're regular people. It's so cool. <laughs> Allie. So by the way, you know, even though she has New York roots here, family, she grew up here. She's been spending a lot of time in Santa Fe and very involved with this Ebu movement. Oh well, this is this is the reason I'm really here. There is this extraordinary, just beginning, but it's going to blow huge. I just know it movement called Ibu, which is Indonesian for woman of respect. And my new brilliant friend, Susan Hull Walker, has conjured up this concept of having women's cooperatives all over the planet. She has more than 79, I think at this point, bring their artisanal work into clothes, which you're gonna see. And therefore, the monies that, that are spent on every aspect of these clothing go to these places where women honestly have no connection whatever with what we American women take for granted in terms of freedom and, and, and dignity. So suddenly when they bring money into their cooperatives for their beautiful embroidery or beading or textiles or whatever, they have respect and they're, part, they're not just, you know, a child bearer on the side. So I'm a feminist of a certain sort and I think that all of us can do something some of them are the the marching fist kind i like the quieter version and i was so happy to meet susan because her project is so enormous it can go bigger and bigger and bigger this is from a minority tribe in china this is from india Your necklace oh, yeah these beautiful. are all indian things. yeah but all over the continent and all over the planet women have been historically making beautiful beautiful things and Susan goes to each of them, actually meets the women, and is therefore able to say, when she invited me to design this collection, yeah, we could do that. I know exactly the group of people, the women, who can do this right. So it's, it's a very uncynical, loving, beautiful way for me to participate in the women's movement in a way that I care about, because I've always worn this stuff my whole life. Well, you look great, and I know you brought some I brought more some examples. Yeah. girls, too. So let's meet our first model. Who I think is Marianne. Wait till you see how beautiful she is. Hello. This is gorgeous Marianne, and she is wearing these, these are some of our, my favorite things. It's almost sort of a Sufi coat. It's made in the very dangerous Swat Valley in Pakistan. Mm. And Susan and I have a friend there whose whole work is in that part of the world. The pants story is kind of a surprise. The pants are made in Uzbekistan. Can hmm. you see how much geography? Yeah, is? that's fantastic. Then there's a fantastic collection now of these old African textiles from Burkina Faso. And we made shoes, a killer bag, and also trousers out of them. The beads are probably Indian. The, the necklaces are the... Yeah. And I'm not sure, where, I can't remember where these beads come, where these come from. I just love them. They yeah, they're from, so pretty. But I think they really, might come from Target. They, they do, do not. <laughs> oh, sorry, just kidding. Ibu movement. A, wait a Go second. Ahead. Well, it's not the worst idea in the whole world for Ibu to do a collection for Target. You know, because we Quite want honestly, these things, we want people to buy them. All we want to know is that they're real, that they're not, you know, hacked out in, in Southeast Asia with slave labor. These are made in a traditional way all over the world, I would love to get them in Target. Target? Our, no, no, You're on but, notice. But with our philosophy. Right. Because here's the other piece. Mm. I think we all love to stop wearing like the last minutes, gotta die if you don't own it fashion that you're zipped into, hooked into. Right. With a color, That's uncomfortable. With a color you look horrible in it just because it's in. All of the clothes that we've done feel great to wear and we're wearing um, stuff that's been around for thousands of years. And I love tweaked. it. And you can vouch for the working conditions where they're made, yeah, and that's absolutely. important. Thank, Thank you so much. Let's see Thanks, our, our next model. Let's take a look. And this is Julia, this beautiful creature. And she's wearing one of my favorite, favorite things. This is a textile from Kenya. It's called a conga. And um, when you open it, it's sort of like single bed size, and there's <laughs> one on each side. I was desperate to have this fabric in our collection after I'd seen Queen of Katwe, Lupita Nyong'o's yes. film this year. Yes. Uh, she was in, uh, what was that, 12 Years a Slave? Yes, but she was also in this, in Ghana. And um, we did we did shoes in Brazil. That's where there's a woman's... Those are very pretty. Every, every cooperative is only women. They're 
fabulous. They're so comfortable. And, and Ali, what's with the necklace? Well, that's something I love. It's from the Maasai tribe. I wore one at our International Folk Art Market in Santa Fe, where a lot of our artisans show their stuff, and everybody flipped for it. So I said, Susan, can we get some all white ones for this? I love it. And then beads that are probably Indian, and a bag from Rwanda, but here's some of these words. I mean, some of these countries are in such horrific, war-torn, tragic condition, that to be able to support women there in their little pods to make a living. I mean, they are scratching for their lives. Mm. So I mean, one, of the, one of the countries that we're very lucky to work with is South Sudan, and you know what's going on there. Mm -hmm. oh, and oh, these oh. artists and artisans and fabulous women have, uh, now they're getting money. It's so great that you're speaking out on these issues and these causes. Thank you so much. We have another look to uh, and this, see. And this is Paula in a fantastic coat from made by a particularly wonderful group of women in Morocco. I love this coat. It's very pretty. It's got a nice feel to it. It's a kind of wear it any way, any time. We did it with gray as well. My new favorite jewelry, don't laugh, are these vinyl beads that are from old uh, albums, right? What? Really? And oh, that's so funny. Old I bought, record albums? Yeah, because huh. vinyl is so cool, right? So we wear trunk loads of them. Again, the shoes from Burkina Faso, but made in Brazil. Mm. And this is from Colombia. It's that's called, called the, Mola. The, the Clutch? Yeah. It's got and a then, Keith Haring thing going, right, Rosanna? A little, a little bit, bit. Yeah, totally. it does. Yeah. And then the earrings are sourced. Actually, Susan is from Charleston. She, this whole extraordinary movement that she started is anchored in Charleston. And I was introduced to the woman who's working with women in China to make these tassels, which just happen to be in fashion now. I was you, about to say they're very what, popular in, now. In fashion has had absolutely nothing to do for me with any of this. Again, those are albums, like record albums. The earrings are record albums. Oh, those things are record no, albums. Pieces up, of vinyl. But they're fabulous. They yeah. come in incredible colors. you got to show this to Baba Bowie over on uh, Howard Stern. He'll By be the way, very impressed. You can see all and buy some of this stuff on the eboomovement.com. Right, Kelly? Yes, and then you get this amazing newsletter once a week about specific people that are doing magical things around the world. This is going to be enormous, and I was invited, and I'm doing this not for money, but just because I so believe in what she's doing. She has an incredible, tiny cast of helpers, and they're changing lives. Well, so are you, Ali McGraw. I'm so glad that Susan teamed up with you. <laughs> I'm so glad she asked me to do it. And we're so glad that you're here, you Ali too. McGraw. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come Thank back you. and visit us again. Thank you. Did I wreck your hair? No, no not at all. Anyway. Oh. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies. Thank we'll you, be right guys. Back. You're beautiful. The best. So where are the models from? You're